In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate pediatric dosages using Clark's rule. Now we've already studied Freud's rule and Jung's rule. This rule, on the other hand, is based on a child's weight and is more accurate than the two. It uses the average adult weight of 150 pounds as its basis for the calculation. Take a look at the formula. And in the first question, we're asked, an infant 15 months old and weighing 20 pounds needs streptomycin sulfate, which is usually administered to adults as one gram or 1,000 milligrams as a daily intramuscular injection. What is the appropriate dosage for the infant? We'll use the following formula, and this time, unlike in Fried's formula, we use the child's weight as opposed to their age. So I'll take 20 divided by 150 multiplied to the adult dose of 1,000 milligrams. Using our calculator, we can take 20 divided by 150 and then subsequently multiply this number by 1,000. And we should end up with 133.3 repeating. To one decimal place, that's 133.3 milligrams. So based on Clark's rule, this child weighing the 20 pounds should be given 133.3 milligrams. Let's move on to question number two. A child weighing 70 pounds is prescribed quinone sulfate, and the normal adult dose is 325 milligrams TID, which means three times a day. What is the appropriate dosage for the child? Using the exact same formula as before, I'll take 70 and divide it by 150, multiply that to 325. Let's use our calculator to input this. 70 divided by 150, multiply to 325. We should end up with 151.6 repeating into one decimal place, that's 151.7. 151.7, I've rounded up. And that's in milligrams. And there you have it, two examples on how to calculate pediatric dosages using Clark's rule.